Welcome back everyone, my name is Francisco and today we have to talk about the iPhone 16. The iPhone 16 released in September of 2024 and while it is a great phone as we have expected from Apple at this point, the iPhone 16 has three major issues that either have to do with the hardware of the iPhone or with the software, even up to the latest iOS update as of the filming of this video, which is iOS 18.2. These issues include the poor battery life, random reboots, and camera app issues. In this video, we're going to talk about these issues issues and some solutions that we found for you to resolve these nicely. So please make sure to subscribe as we've got a lot more content just like this coming up. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Part 1. How to fix the iPhone 16's poor battery performance For this issue, some of us might consider getting a new battery, but there is nothing really wrong with the batteries themselves, but rather, it mostly has to do with certain features running in the background when you don't expect them to. Here are some of the things that cause battery life issues on your iPhone 16. Beginning with Apple Intelligence Features This feature is one that is new to iOS 18, even if it isn't really complete as of now. But chances are that you don't use Apple Intelligence at all, even if iOS 18 18.2 has these features enabled by default anyway. Apple Intelligence, at least as of now, is more resource heavy than we would like. As such, here are going to be the steps to disabling Apple Intelligence features on your iPhone. So just go ahead and access the Settings app, then scroll down and select Apple Intelligence and Siri. Then toggle this Apple Intelligence switch to turn that off then you should be good to go from there. If you're still having issues with battery life, consider doing some things that are considered good practice to better maintain your iPhone's battery life. Consider using auto brightness for your iPhone so that it adjusts the brightness of your display depending on your environment. That way, when it doesn't need to be overly bright, it will adjust it on your behalf and save you some battery. Consider turning off Bluetooth when you're not using it. Same with Wi-Fi if you can. Also, try closing as many apps as possible that you're not using so that you don't have have so many background processes taking place without you realizing it. Lastly, take advantage of Apple's battery saver feature. If you don't feel like enabling or disabling features every time, then just toggle low power mode to save battery. This only works when your device is under a certain percentage, of course, but try utilizing this whenever it is available. Part 2. How to fix an iPhone 16 that keeps randomly rebooting iOS 18 has been buggier for some than any other iOS version before this, and while Apple has been addressing as many bugs as possible regarding their latest iOS 18 versions, some bugs still remain. As such, some people have been dealing with random rebooting on their iPhone 16. This issue goes system deep, and it more than likely has to do with a bad or faulty update. In other words, iOS 18 did not install itself properly for some reason, and that's causing it to behave erratically. However, we need to rule out anything that can be causing this issue first. If your iPhone keeps rebooting after using a specific app, then the best course of action might just be to update it in order to make sure that it's using the latest version of the app, which should be fully compatible with the latest version of iOS. To do this, just go to the App Store, then go to Search, and type in the name of the app that's causing the restarts to happen. Tap it, and then select Update to update it. Wait for it to finish, and once it's done, try opening it to see if it still causes any reboots after opening it. If this didn't work, then it's possible that some odd settings ended up enabling themselves and conflicting with other aspects of your device. Rather than identifying something that would be pretty difficult to find, it would be better to just reset all of your settings. Not your data, but your settings. Again, this will not delete any data, but you may have to readjust some settings later if anything important changed. As such, just tap Settings, then go down to General, then down to Transfer or Reset iPhone, then tap on Reset then tap on Reset All Settings to have your iPhone reset your settings for you. Wait for it to finish, then try using your phone as normal to verify if the random reboots are fixed. If this doesn't work, then just make sure that you are actually running on the latest version of iOS 18 and update to it if you haven't. To do so, go back to Settings, then tap on General, then down to Software Update. Immediately, your iPhone will tell you if you need to update. If you do, then press the Update button on the bottom and let your iPhone do its thing. Once it's done, check your iPhone by using it normally and see if the reboot stopped happening. Part 3. The best free alternative to the iPhone's camera app. The iPhone's camera app on iPhone 16 has not been super reliable for some, and others are frustrated because their features are not extremely easy to access for the most part. Some users have also experienced lots of bugs with the default camera app and would like to have a consistent way of taking pictures.
pictures and videos without much of a hassle. That's why I would like to talk about a free alternative to the native camera app, the Lightroom Photo and Video Editor. The Adobe Lightroom Photo and Video Editor app offers advanced camera controls including manual adjustments for exposure, shutter speed, ISO, and RAW or even HDR capture for high quality images. It supports video editing with similar tools used for photos such as exposure and color adjustments. Features like grid overlays, depth capture, and AI powered enhancements do help to streamline professional editing. While selective edits and presets simplify the customization specifically. Users can sync their media across devices through Adobe Creative Cloud, organize content with albums and tags, and access built-in tutorials even. The free version provides robust functionality, which is what we're recommending. While premium upgrades unlock advanced tools like selective adjustments and cloud storage if those are things that you're looking for. I find this app to be very useful and I recommend it as the free alternative to the stock camera app on your iPhone 16. Part 4. The best solution to many iPhone 16 bugs. One of the top tools I recommend for fixing the issues plaguing the iPhone 16 is Wondershare Dr. Phone. The software will also allow you to reinstall iOS 18 onto your iPhone as sometimes iTunes might not work for some people. Dr. Phone can help repair your iPhone system without losing any data. The best part is that Dr. Phone provides two repair modes to tackle different levels of issues. First is standard repair, which handles most common iOS problems like the random rebooting issues and battery life issues related to iOS 18 software. For more complex issues, advanced mode digs a little bit deeper and performs a thorough scan to repair more serious system errors. Furthermore, Dr. Phone allows users to upgrade or even downgrade their iOS versions without the need for iTunes. So let's give this method a shot. Start by installing Wondershare Dr. Phone on your computer and then launch it. Then simply click the toolbox tab located in the left panel from its main interface. Moving on, select the system repair feature. Link your iOS 18 device to your computer through a USB cable in order to start fixing the rebooting issue. Once successfully connected, select the iPhone option located in the select your device type section. Next, press iOS repair on the screen and then choose the standard repair mode from the following screen that appears. Following this, you do need to put your iOS device into recovery mode. You can just do so by allowing Dr. Phone to do it for you. So once you do that, click the enter recovery mode button to start detecting the correct firmware for your iPhone. The next screen will show you several firmware options and you can pick one to download and use to fix this issue. As the firmware is installed, click the Repair Now button to start the repair process. You'll see a loading screen while the repair is taking place. After the repair is complete, the final screen will say Repair Complete Prompt. At this point, you can just click Done to finish this process and you should be good to go from there. iOS 18 should have been reinstalled on your device. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way up to the very end. Let us know in the comments if the solution worked for you, and if it hasn't, then make sure to let us know which phone breaking bugs you've been in encountering and include any of your questions down below as well. Like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. Hit the notification bell to stay updated on when a new video comes out. Now, until next time, have a great day.